welcome to Step by Step Gun Training. And today we're going to talk about the holsters that uh, we loan out when we're teaching somebody for the first time to shoot a gun. And we have these uh, Sportster holsters from Blackhawk. And these are great holsters and uh, they're very inexpensive. We get them from Amazon. They, can, they come with both a paddle uh, type of a uh, attachment and this belt loop type of attachment. We usually don't use the paddle attachment. We take that off and the, we use the, uh, the belt loop attachment that comes with it. And uh, if our students don't have a belt, we loan them a belt. Uh, this is a good, durable holster. It's easy. Uh, it's not an inside the waistband holster because uh, when we're first teaching them, we're not teaching them to draw from uh, concealment. We're teaching them to draw from a holster. Uh, outside the waistband. So this is uh, one that's designed for a Glock 19. So this is a Glock 19 size gun. Interesting thing though, it'll still work fine with a uh, Glock 17. A full size gun it just sticks out a little bit. Uh, so if you were wearing super short shorts, I suppose the you could maybe it would get hot and cause you some discomfort but uh, not very likely and we don't recommend wearing super short shorts when you're shooting anyhow. So uh, you could really buy the one for the Glock 7, uh, uh, 19 and use it on a 26 or a uh, 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 19 either one and that would probably be fine. Uh, it does have a little tension adjustment here which is nice. Now uh, we've also talked before about the Serpa holster which I don't recommend using it as it comes out of the box. Now we got this one, it retailed originally for $40, uh, but it was on a special sale and I think we got it for like $10 at our local uh, uh, store on a special blowout sale. So uh, the thing we don't, there's a couple things I don't personally like about the Serpa holster. Now this one's for a 26, so here it is with a uh, Glock 19 in it. Uh, and if I take the Glock 19 out, oh yeah, you got to push the button. Uh, I can put the Glock 17 in, and it still locks in. Uh, but this one's actually made for a Glock uh, 26. As you can see, even the Glock uh, 19 sticks out a little bit, but it works just fine. Uh, so we bought some of these because they were so cheap. But when I've got a student that shows up to the range and they own one of these, and they decide that no matter what I've said to them, that they want to keep it as is, I usually find a little twig or something. This is a little screw here. And without the gun in it, I go ahead and, and uh, push the little mechanism up, and I slide this screw in here, I'm gonna, or a twig or whatever, so it stays engaged all the time. So then they can use the Serpa holster, see, the same way that we can use the non serpa holster. So I find that to be, I consider that safe at that point. And it'll work with my Glock 17 as well. Okay. Now, sometimes I have a student that once I've explained to them that some people have had issues with these, uh, that they need to think about taking this thing apart. And I can simply grab a pair of uh, a multi-tool which has pliers in it and tear out that Serpa mechanism and then it yeah, it's got a little hole in it here but it works just like the uh, Sportster holster so I don't have that issue. Works just fine. Uh, and that's what most of my students opt for if they show up with a Serpa holster. There are a lot of ranges that won't allow them. Uh, I don't allow them uh, fully functional in my range. This is the paddle attachment that it comes with. I don't use those. Uh, sometimes people put these in and ping on the configuration of their pants and their belt and such. Uh, the paddle doesn't catch and they go to draw their gun out and the whole holster and everything comes out. So I don't really like those so much. I usually opt for the, uh, uh, the loop attachment. And it has uh, some other things in here which you can use to limit uh, where the uh, belt goes through on the loop. So if you want the gun to r ride higher, whatever, we usually don't use any of those. We just simply go ahead and put the, the screws that come with it 
in it and we just mount it straight up and down. We don't put a cant on it. This already has a little Loctite on there. So if you're only putting it on one time, it's fine. If I was going to take these off, I might put some fresh Loctite on there, but since it comes with it, so I just go ahead and snap these on and uh, tighten them down. So there it is with the, uh, the belt attachment mounted on it. And it works just fine. If you, you know, it's holding the gun in, I can turn it upside down, it stays in even a full weight Glock 17. It's, it's good enough. If it was a little loose, though, it does have an adjustment screw right here where you can make it a little tighter uh, if you needed to. So that's it for the Black Hot Holster. Thank you very much.